Imagination Engines, Artificial Intelligence, The Creative Machine, Casey Myers. Uh, Imagination Engines is a company that is pushing the boundaries with artificial intelligence. This presentation will examine a technology called the Creative Machine, CM. The founder, Dr. Stephen L. Thaler, invented AI technology in the early 80s and 90s. It was a simulated neural network used to cr pr produce creative output. Thaler has used this AI technology to compose music, design vehicles, video games, improve surveillance, and work with the government on defense with weapons and machines. So it's exploded, it's big, it's all over the place. Um, a Thaler was a pioneer in the artificial intelligence, and he created IE to try and harness technology to think on its own and learn from itself, like us. It was found upon key scientific and engineering breakthroughs in the area of artific artificial neural networks. The CM is creating unique insights and designs that essentially mimic something that our brains do when we're trying to be creative, have noise in our thoughts, like everything's noisy right now, I'm trying to get this presentation done um, in time. Um, the technology, CM, was uh, invented in the early 70s, or in the late 70s and the early 80s. The system consists of artificial neural network that is perturbed by noise as to see generation of new ideas and strategies. So it's basically brainstorming on its own. The CM can learn by itself and can generate new solutions to problems. So what does this all mean? Um, Skynet, you guys know from the Terminator movie. Here's the clip. Cast. The system goes online on August 4th, 1997. Human decisions are removed from strategic defense. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. In a panic, they try to pull the plug. Skynet fights back. Yes, it launches its missiles against the targets in Russia. Why attack Russia? Aren't they our friends now? Funny enough, yeah, Russia in the news right now, um, they're not being our friends so much. Anyway, uh, the creative machine uh, patent issues the same day Skynet becomes conscious. What's interesting is the date the Skynet fictional AI-based satellite system, the Torrent series, is when the, it becomes conscious and destroys the world. Likewise, that day, uh, and news reports the patent is potentially the most important invention in history that no one, that one can invent all subsequent science, technology, and art. Absolutely awesome and crazy. Um, some of the technical applications, there's a lot of them. Uh, I didn't have time to get to all of them, but uh, information warfare systems. Uh, that basically, IE's worked alongside distinguished members of U.S. Uh, intelligence communities, building advanced AI for both the light and dark sides of information warfare. That's all the different news stories, and it's using them to creatively send things out there that they think that they can fool the American public or, you know, the world. Um, advanced machine vision systems. Department of Homeland Security and the TSA airport uses AI to analyze camera views from within the airport to both detect and classify anonymous objects and behaviors. So they're watching us. Um, the weapons design system. So tailoring munitions design to achieve optimal target neutralization with minimal collateral damage. These are weapons that intelligent reconfigured while inbound to the target so they can change depending on where the target's going. Um, the coolest thing I thought was a musical creativity machine. CM now allows computers to compose both novel and appealing melodic uh, concepts without any help from human intelligence. Uh, since musical tastes vary, these systems automatically tune to the acoustical output to the audience, uh, perceptual response of the honest audience. So if I wanted it to play this or that, or it, it'll adapt to my tastes. So the future. Um, it's amazing how much advancement has been made in the company that's been on the field since the 70s. By the 80s, the researchers began to understand that creating artificial intelligence was way more complicated. Uh, Brooks came to believe that a forward conscious way for researchers to create individual modules is basically uh, different aspects such as planning module, memory module, etc., which could be later combined together to create intelligence, um, all like of what our brain does. Uh, great things can come, um, but is it all good? Governments could make RoboCop, um, surveillance systems that uh, are not good for the American public, spying, you know, all the um, NSA stuff that's going on in the news right now. Um, Skynet could actually happen. Um, it's a possibility um, of building devices, software systems that are more intelligent than human beings um, have been around from the early days of AI. Um, it's on the horizon. The problem is that the time horizon moves away when the time passes. So um, basically I feel like uh, a, um, AI and imagination engines have an advantage getting the game so early and the engineering concepts behind it. They need to be creative and think on its own, come with its own neural network that made them a leader. They're working with the government on big contracts in NSA, um, or NASA. Sometimes the government having all that power and technology can be somewhat alarming, especially if it gets in the wrong hands. I personally feel especially safe to know that AI and airports 
other possible areas to detect the bad people. But with any AI machine, machine or humans, errors can be possible. We're designing machines to be creative and think on their own. Um, but when does that gravitate to us thinking less and our population becoming absolutely reliant on machines uh, that we can't make decisions about them? Um, below, I'm going to put a little bit of longer abstract, and I'm going to add another video from the Artificial Intelligence uh, movie. So that's up to you if you'd like to um, look at those things. And um, I will also have the references down below. Um, I do have them right here if you want to look at those, um, but it will probably be easier to look at the status down below. Thank you, and we'll see.